Both modern farming as well as increasingly optimised dairy breeds have led to an immense boost in average milk yield in the course of the last 10 years. Due to this development, an increasing number of cows suffer from a metabolic disease characterised by low blood calcium levels around parturition, also called hypocalcemia or milk fever. For most farmers, acute milk fever is a threatening but predictable risk. Acute milk fever is divided into four stages based on clinical signs. The first signs of acute milk fever quickly lead to more severe signs. The cow now suffers from muscle stiffness and tremors. She's reluctant to move or eat while the hind legs become more and more stiff and the cow staggers. In the second stage, the cow lies down and cannot get up. The cow's eyes become dull and staring, her breathing goes heavy and her heartbeat becomes faster. As the disease develops, most cows will bend their head down to the chest due to muscle contraction. In the last stage of milk fever, the cow lies on her side with her legs stretched out and is hardly conscious. If left untreated, this animal will fall into a coma and finally die. But this is only the tip of the iceberg. Below the surface, up to 50% of lactating cows are suffering from subclinical milk fever which may lead to severe secondary diseases such as retained placenta, ketosis, displaced abomasum, dyspepsia, reduced immune defense, and mastitis. From the first subclinical stage to the severe incidences of milk fever, the course of this disease goes along with a drastic decrease of the calcium level in the cow's blood. With the onset of lactation, the need for calcium increases dramatically. At this time, the calcium level in the cow's blood may drop below the critical level, and the cow falls ill with milk fever. The decline of the calcium level usually begins two days before calving. A significant calcium decrease is usually seen 24 hours before parturition, as shown in the study from the University of Missouri. The recommended timing of the bovicalc bolus is designed to balance this development in blood calcium levels before and after parturition. With the transition from dry cow to lactating cow, a higher amount of calcium is required to be released into the milk.